Hello everyone, it is Monday, September 6, 2010, and this is your Daily Dose of Reptile News. Well, those of you in Ohio, according to Mr. Strickland, are going to have a new ban on exotic pets. This includes constrictors, venomous snakes, alligators, and crocodiles. And firefighters were called out to a Los Angeles area home where they eventually corralled a five foot long python into a five gallon bucket. A woman called 911 just after midnight to report seeing the snake. Soon after firefighters showed up they were able to corral the snake and say it will be sent to animal services. And residents of a housing complex in New Jersey also caught a python that was out on the loose. They believe apparently somebody that moved out had left the snake there. One person caught it using a cane to pin its head down and grabbed it by the tail. There is another resident of the complex that said that that is not the same snake he saw the other day, which was a couple feet bigger. So officials are warning people that there may be more than just that one snake on the loose there in New Jersey. And a very interesting and exciting study from Australia has came out saying that a skink there may be evolving from egg laying to live birth. The skink has been spotted near New South Wales laying eggs recently, but its counterpart in the colder region of the mountains apparently gives live birth. They're not sure if this evolutionary cycle is to give the newborns nur more nourishment or as a way of protecting the newborns in the harsher climate climate of the mountains. And the Malaysian reptile smuggler that we spoke about last week, Anson Wong, has been sentenced and charged in his latest smuggling attempt. He was sentenced to six months in jail and 61,000 US dollars as a fine, which if you remember from last week, is only a slap on the hand compared to what they could have fined him and put him in jail for. In 2000, Anson Wong spent 71 months in a United States jail on animal trafficking charges as well. And now it's time for viewer mail. Now this viewer mail came in from the Reptile News Facebook account. If you'd like to follow us on Facebook, the link is right down here in the description to do that. This viewer mail is in regards to the pet store where 50, I believe, some odd animals were confiscated and several were found dead when the power was shut off. The owner apparently claimed that a caretaker was put in charge of the pet store and authorities claim that they are currently trying to find out who the caretaker was. And the mail reads, there was no caretaker. I worked next door to that place and she was not on vacation. She was hardly ever there. The only time anybody seen them was once a week, which the video when it's uploaded and one of the neighbor guys even says that. I'm sorry, watch the video when it's uploaded. Um, I asked where where I could see the video and they responded that they can't find the video online, guess they didn't post it, but I recorded it when it was live from my digital camera. It's not great and you have to turn your volume all the way up, but here it is. Okay, now I, I can't, because of YouTube's crazy copyright laws, I can't put the video right here on the show as much as I'd love to, so I will put a link down in the description so you can go watch that video and make a determination yourself. I also this morning received a comment on one of the shows that we did previously on the child pornography case that's enveloping regal reptiles. Um, I won't go over the comment di directly here, however, it did make me think after replying to that that we have never heard an official response from the other people associated and the other owners of Regal Reptiles either defending their business nor condemning their business partner for the actions that have taken place. Therefore, I put in a request to Regal Reptiles this morning for a public comment that I can report on right here on the show. I haven't heard back from him yet, but rest assured as soon as I do, we'll be talking about it. It's very important to note I put out a bulletin. Um, I did a piece on the website about the future of the reptile news. Um, I did two, it took a two-part series of uh, entries to the Reptivlog this morning explaining what's going on, what may happen, what could happen, what we could possibly do to change what's going to happen. So. Um, again, I will respond to that with this and to this with that, so you guys can go watch that video. Um, remember, it's a two-part series, so you have to watch both of them to understand it completely. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what we see. And that has been all your news for this Monday, September 6, 2010. If you'd like to read any more of these stories, those links are right down below here in the description. And as always, if you're still watching, my name is Jason White. Now you know what's going on in the reptile world.